Welcome to Pflugerville Community Church and one of our many senior fitness videos. We're so glad you're here. Be sure to subscribe and like our channel so you won't miss any of our future postings. Also, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to join our live Zoom class, we have them Monday through Friday at 9.55 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we offer senior fitness. Then on Tuesday and Thursday, it's breathing, balancing, and stretching for seniors. It all starts at 9.55. You can request your personal invitation through the email address shown on your screen. We'd sure be excited to welcome you. We open each session with a meaningful scripture and prayer. Scripture I picked out uh, is Colossians 4.2. It seemed real appropriate for where we're at in our country and our personal lives. The apostle writes, devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Let us pray. Our Lord and our God, how we do uh, want to be faithful in the call you've placed on our lives. Help us, O oh God, to be thankful, to give gratitude and thanks in all things. Lord, let us be in prayer for those that need prayer. We have so many that are hurting and anxious and just at unease. We have folks that are having physical ailments as well as the challenges with the virus. May we be instruments of your goodwill to bring peace, hope, and love to your creation. Through Christ our Savior, I pray. Amen. Good morning. My name is Jane, and I'm coming to you from the Pflugerville Community Church. I've got my helpers with me, Pat on this side, Susan on this side. We welcome you to this week and Monday morning. Okay, let's everybody get up and let's start to move. Start with the march. And let's go right into side to side. And let's wake up those arms. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And back into a march. And let's put those heels forward, right and left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And back into a march. And let's go touch those toes, right and left, right and left. Hands overhead, stretch, stretch. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And reach across, right, left, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And reach low, but keep that head up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And let's go back into that march. And let's put hands down and bring those knees up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one. And let's go right in to bring those heels back and those elbows back. 10, nine, eight, <laughs> seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And back into our march. And let's straighten that heel or heel. Let's do the elbow to the knee. <laughs> we don't fall over here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And back into our march. Let's march around that chair. Come to the back of the chair and let's back around. Hang on to your chair if you need to. Some days our balance are better than other days. I see where maybe I'm not having a great balance day. But that's okay. All right. I'm going to put my chair to the side so you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to do some stretches before we sit down. So let's put that right foot on our chair, on the barber chair, or on a wall. Shoulders up, back, and down. Raise that other heel if you'd like. And bring ourselves forward. You can feel that stretch in the back of your leg. Bring that heel down. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Shoulders up, back, and down. Feel that stretch. Put your heel down, hands on your chair. Let's stick out that butt and back up, straight back. Head between your elbows. You can lift your heels off the floor if you'd like. You're stretching out your lower back. Heels down, walk in. Take that right foot, point that toe, bend that knee, stretching out the inner thighs. Come back to the middle, hang on to your chair if you need to. Do the same thing on the other side. Stretch out those inner thighs again. Come back to the middle. I'm gonna turn my chair around and we're gonna grab a drink before we sit down. All right, let's grab our weights too. And we're sitting down. Or you can do this several different ways. You can use, you don't have to use weights. You could use weights, one on each leg, or as we move from leg to leg, you can use two weights. Do what works for you. But put that weight above your knee, not on your knee, okay? And we're gonna start just slowly by getting out off of that motorcycle. That's what we've decided that this is. And off the other way. All right, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one. Okay. Now for this one, I like to put both weights on my leg, but that's up to you. We're gonna bring that leg up. You sit back just a little because we're gonna push out. This is called parking brake and back. So let's be able to see the bottom of that sole. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and down. All right, move those legs a little. And I'm moving both weights to the other leg. And I'm gonna do the same thing on that other leg. I'm gonna bring it up and push my foot out and bring it back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, and let's move those legs a little bit. Okay, let's grab another drink because we're gonna stand up. Mm -hmm. There, that's good. We wanna have you in frame. <laughs> okay, we've got our weights. So we're gonna use those weights to get up and out of that couch, up and off of that couch or out of that chair. So we're gonna stand up with those weights and then we're gonna sit down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's shake those legs out and let's put one weight in our chair, okay? We're gonna be in front of our chair and I want you to get into a comfortable stance. So probably about shoulder width apart and you're gonna have just one weight in your hand. I hold, just hold on to it by both ends and we're gonna reach that weight up and to the right, bring it down into our pocket. Up and in our pocket. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's do that hula hoop. Loosen up those hips after doing that. We're going one direction, then we're gonna stop and go the other way. All right, be in your comfortable stance again. Reach to the left this time. Come down and put it in that pocket. You're going from toe to toe when you do this. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, shake out those legs. Move those shoulders backwards and forwards. Okay. All right, we're gonna do something different today. We talk to you all the time about the pelvic tilt. But we're gonna do some exercises using that pelvic tilt, okay? So I'm gonna to turn to the side. With the pelvic tilt, we literally tilt our backside down and our front side up. Hence the name pelvic tilt if I could say it, it would help, okay? While we're doing that, you're in a pelvic tilt, get a comfortable stance, the weight is in front of you, you're holding on to that weight with both hands, and you're gonna bring it up, just above chest level, bring it back down. You stay in the tilt. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I like that adaptation. Pat was in the pelvic tilt and she was moving that weight out and back. So it would come from the same spot I was coming from and then would come up at the front and then she'd reach out. Very good adaptation of it. And that's, this is something that we love. Try different things. So let's do it Pat's way the next time. Let's tilt, like do the pelvic tilt and we're gonna do what Pat did. We're gonna bring it out, bring it down, bring it up our front and reach out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Okay, and notice how when you use that pelvic tilt when you're doing things, it takes the stress off your lower back, okay? So now I'm turning around to the front. I'm gonna go into that pelvic tilt again. So I'm, my pelvis is tilted up, okay? We're gonna take that weight. We're gonna come to the right side, down to the left side, and down. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, go back into your regular stance kick out those feet. All right. You know, that felt good. That's something to keep in mind where you're doing things. If your lower back starts to bother you, go into that pelvic tilt. You can do just about anything with that. Okay. We picked up both of our weights again. We're going to put one on our waist, the left side, using one weight, two weights or no weights. We're going to reach straight down and back up. 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. And let's move to the other side. Make sure you're in a comfortable stance so you, your balance is good. Reach down, back up. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's do that. Hula hoop again. Move those hips and go the other way. Move those hips. All right. Okay, you're in a comfortable stance again. We're taking our weights and bringing them to the front, about chest level. I'm gonna bend over just a little and we're gonna do the fly. We're gonna bring it back as far as we can, back and forward. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one all right bring it up and let's roll those shoulders and bring them forward all right take those weights again they're in front about chest level comfortable stance and we're going to turn to the right come to the center turn to the left come to the center it's just your top half that's turning here your bottom half pre stays pretty much stationary ten nine 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, back to the center. Let's set one weight down in our chair. And let's roll those shoulders. Roll them back. Roll them to the front. Let's do a shrug, a deep shrug, and down. Another deep shrug, and down. Okay. We always try to do some squats during our routine. So let's do some squats. And remember, right now we're using just one weight and we're using that like a kettlebell, okay? So we're gonna go into the squat, bring it down, and then we're gonna bring it back up to about chest level. Into the squat, bring it down, bring it back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And back, all right, shake out those legs. All right, and one final one before we put those away. I love this one because <laughs> it works so well for my un up upper underarms. <laughs> all right, so it's in our back pocket. We're reaching out, we're reaching back to our pocket, out, and back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right. Now roll the shoulders. Okay. And let's go ahead. We'll put those weights away and grab a drink. All right. And let's pick up our ball. Sit down in our chair. Put those knees and those ankles together. Okay, and we're gonna roll that ball and stretch out. Here we go with fingertips. Roll that ball down. And let's go out a ways. Let's take some breaths there and feel that stretch in our lower back. And bring that ball back up. Shoulders up, back and down. And let's go again. Bring it down, bring it out if you can. Take some breaths, feel the stretch. Roll that ball back up. Let's pass it around. Work on those shoulders. Four, three, two, and one. To the front and the other direction. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Right leg stays where it's at. Left leg goes out to the side. Let's take that ball and reach out as far as we can. Come to the left leg. Back to the right. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, bring that leg in. Let's move those legs a little. All right, left leg stays put. Right leg goes out. Reach out again with that ball. Bring it to the right, back to the center. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. All right, bring it back to the center. Move those legs a little. Sit comfortably on your chair, knees together, ankles together. Those shoulders are up, back, and down. Taking that ball, we're gonna start with the right. We're gonna bend over straight back, pass it under, back up. Make sure straight back. We don't wanna injure anybody's back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and to the center. Roll those shoulders. And bring them to the front. We haven't had any breaths. Hopefully everybody was breathing. Let's breathe in and blow out. And breathe in and blow out. Okay. All right, now we're gonna do that same thing, but to the other side. So whatever side you started with, I start with my right, I'm going to the, my left. Make sure though that your shoulders are back and down first, so you've got a straight back. Bend over that straight back, come under and back up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, move those feet. Okay, let's do our beauty pose. So let's put that ball on our right shoulder, stick out that left foot. You're gonna reach back and then you're gonna bring knee to elbow together. Out and back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, move those legs a little. Now we're going to the other side. Ball is on your left shoulder. The right leg is pointed out. Reach back, come forward. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, move those legs. Okay, because I don't believe that you can practice getting up and out of a chair too much. <laughs> oh, we're gonna do that again with our ball. I know we did it with our weight, but this time we're gonna use our ball. So we're gonna stand up with our ball, squeeze it to give you a little extra push, squeeze it to come back down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake out those legs. Okay. Take a comfortable stance again feet about shoulder width apart or so, and we're going to pick some flowers. Whatever seems to be in season at this time of the year, whatever that is. Okay, so we're gonna bring it up above our head. I'm starting with my right hand. You can start with either one because we're gonna do both. You're gonna bring it down around as you go into a squat and exchange hands and bring it up to the top. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, shake out those legs. Take your stance again. All right, let's go to the opposite side, whatever that is for you. Let's bring it down around and exchange it, bring it up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. All right, shake out those legs. Let's put that ball back and grab a drink. And let's grab our band. Let's put our knees together, our ankles together. And we're gonna put that band either wrapping from the top or the bottom. And pull it down tight. And we're gonna be bringing our knees and our feet open as far as we can. And then bringing them back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's readjust that band. Let's do that again. That's another one of those ones where there's only so many that work that area. So it's a good one out as far as you can go and back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and hold it. Let's hold that pose. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Close and move those legs. All right, let's put the band under our feet, cross it between our legs, bring it up to our thighs, our hips. Let's move our foot out to the right and then out to the left, out to the right, out to the left. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, move those legs a little bit to loosen them up. Take it off of our hips. Now it's crossed between our legs. We're gonna bring it up and back. We're rowing. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Move those arms and those legs again a little bit and let's uncross it. Take it to the outside. You might want to widen your feet a little so you got a little more resistance than you had before. You're still standing on that band. We're going to bring it up, bring it back down. Mine's a little cocky. There we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, and down. Let's shake out those arms. Okay, and let's turn it to the back now. We're gonna reach back as far as we can and bring it forward. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, shake those arms. Okay, let's grab another drink because we're going to stand up with the band. <coughs> okay, we're standing up in front of our chair. 
So if you need to sit down, you're close. Put your hands, hold on to the, hold on to the band there. And then we're gonna scoot our hands up a little way on the band itself. And we're gonna be bringing it from about eye level, holding it out and bring it down to chest level. So we're gonna pull it out and down. So keep trying until you know you've got some resistance because there's no sense of doing this if it's not gonna do any good, right? <laughs> so we keep moving our hands in until we feel good about it. All right, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, do that infinity row. Now, if you feel up to it, you can add a squat to that. I see some people out there already, already adding a squat to it. So that's up to you. But let's get in a stance so that we can. And we'll pull down and we'll come down a squat and we'll go back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, and let's do that infinity roll. Listen up those shoulders. Think we can do that again? I don't, I hear, I see a thumbs up. So we're gonna try it. <laughs> and Pat's ready to go, here we go. Same thing, okay, down and up, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, move those arms, loosen up those shoulders. Okay, let's come over to the right side of our chair. And we're gonna drop our handle and stand on that end of the band. We're putting the band behind our arm and bringing it up. Raise that hand up. And you're gonna bring it down to your shoulder. Up as high as you could reach, down to your shoulder. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, all right, and down. Move that arm a little bit, loosen it up. Okay, now we're gonna stand, step into our band, probably come about halfway with it. And you're gonna, your palm of your hand's gonna be facing up because you're gonna bring it from your waist to your shoulder, hopefully. <laughs> 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's move that shoulder. Move it forward, move it back. All right, come to the other side of the chair and we'll be doing the same thing on the other side. We start by standing close to that handle and close to your chair, if you need to grab it. Band behind your arm and up, reach up. Bring it back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, bring it down. Move that arm a little bit. Shake it out. Move into the center of your band. Palm up. Bring it up back down. I need to move a little bit farther. You can tell when you bring it up. Are you getting any resistance? If not, move farther. Move farther towards your handle. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And down. Okay, shake those arms. All right, let's put our band back on the back of our chair, grab another drink, 
and we're going to do a few things without equipment. It goes, yeah. We have a tape that sounds like it's skipping and it's going to keep skipping and then it goes on. Figure that one. Anyway, <laughs> come to the right side of your chair. We're going to do some pulsing to start. So flex that foot, tiny pulses, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down. Move those legs, loosen them up, bring that knee up, the outside knee up. I use my hand, but you don't have to. We're calling, the, we call this the gate. You swing your hip, you swing your knee out, you bring it back. 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Move those legs. Okay, we can't stand up here without doing some kind of balancing. Whether it's a good day or a bad day for us, we need to try, right? Okay, so you've got your chair close. You decide what position you're gonna be in. Knee up, foot out, figure four, this way, whatever you think, whatever works best for you. I'm gonna try knee up today, okay? When you feel comfortable, let it go. Whoops, that didn't work. Try again, <laughs> 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. And you could see I was struggling, and that's okay. Because when you struggle, you're really practice, practicing your balancing. So it's not a bad thing. Okay, so let's come to the other side of the chair. And we're going to go through that same series on the other side, or starting with that foot flexed, tiny pulses. Ten, nine eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Move those legs. Okay, knee up, knee out as far as you can bring it, and back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. All right, and down. Move those legs. Okay, I forgot to mention that focal spot. That really helps too. When we're doing balancing, find something that doesn't move and concentrate on that spot. It helps you to keep your balance, okay? Maybe that was my problem the last time. <laughs> okay, so find a comfortable stance, hang on to that chair, put, do your leg however you want to do that. When you're comfortable, let go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That does not help, Steve. <laughs> it does not help. I'm having. <laughs> Steve is over here moving and moving and moving. And you can see him out of the corner of your eye, you know, and you're like, okay, I'm having trouble anyway. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do one more thing with those legs before we sit down and start to go into that cool down. I'm gonna turn this so I can see what I'm doing, okay? We're standing straight. Our shoulders are up, back, and down, okay? And we're doing pulses again, but this time we're doing them to the back. And they're tiny pulses. We don't, we don't want you bending over. We want you to stay straight and you're just pulsing, tiny pulses. You can feel that as Barbie used to always say, you can feel that gluteus maximus tightening up back there. <laughs> we miss Barb. Here we go. One, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down and move those legs. Can you feel it tightening up every time you do those? That's what that's about. Okay. Now we're going to move to the other side of the other leg, the left leg. And do the same thing. It's back, but it's flexed. 
you're standing up straight and just reaching a little ways back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and down. And let's move those legs. All right, turn my chair around. We are going to grab a drink and we're going to start what is known as our cool down. Once you get your drink, come and sit down in that chair and let's move those heels out. You can hang on to your chair for this one if you want. It helps me. Right and left and right and left. Right and left. And let's go heels out. Right and left. Right and left. And let's go to the front. Right and left. And heels out. Right and left and to the front, right and left and heels out, right and left. One more time to the front, right and left and heels out, right and left. Now let's go right and left and point and point and bring them together. And let's go right and left and point and point and bring them together. One more time, right and left and point and point and bring them together. Good job, guys. All right. Let's take that right foot now and flex it. Shoulders up, back and down. And stretch, stretch, stretch. Really stretch up. And then let's bring that right arm down as far as it'll go. Loose knee. No hyperextensions there. And just feel that stretch. And bring that hand up, bring that knee tight into your chest, bring that toe up and back so you can feel it, the stress of it. Bring it down, up and back, down. One more time, up and back, down. Move that ankle, loosen up that ankle. Going one direction and then you're gonna go the other direction. All right, take that foot, put it on the opposite thigh. We're checking our posture one more time. That foot is flexed. I put, take my heel off the floor. You can either push down on the thigh. I clasp my hands in the back and come forward from my hips. Do whatever it takes to get a good stretch. There's so many ways to do this. feels so good. Good way to start your Monday morning, loosen you up for the week, because we all get stiff over the weekend. Sit back up. Let's put our hands below our knee and bring our knee to the opposite shoulder. Look over the other shoulder. Another good stretch. Let's move around. We're going into a lunge on the right side of our chair. This leg should be straight down. This leg should also be straight down the knee above the, the ankle. Okay, let's put our hands on our thigh and let's sit, just reach a little back. You've got your chair there. You can hang on to your chair if you want to instead of putting your hands on your thigh, but reach a little bit back. The reason you're doing is you're feeling a stretch right here in that thigh. Okay, and come back. Let's take this right arm, put it along the back of the chair, and let's take that other arm and stretch it up. And we're gonna bring it over. Feel that stretch all along your side. Bring that arm back up, okay? We're gonna do that one more time. This time we're gonna to touch that ear, if you can, okay? You're gonna bring that arm over, try to touch that ear. Should feel a really good stretch the whole length of that side all the way down your leg. 
bring that arm back up and down. Bring both legs around to the same side of the chair, either flat on the floor or ankles crossed. Turn to your back and give yourself a gentle twist. Bring yourself around to the front. Let's put our legs in a V. Shoulders up, back and down one more time. You can raise those heels if you want to. I do that for a little more of a stretch. Bring yourself forward until you feel a stretch in, inside of your upper thighs. Sit up straight again. Take your right shoulder into the center. yourself up again. Take your left shoulder into the center. And back up again. Let's heel and toe, bring our feet together, and let's extend the left foot this time. Foot is flexed. Let's reach up, reach, reach, reach. And then bring that left hand down. Every day, you can probably go a little bit farther. Bring that leg, bring that hand up that leg, bring that knee into the chest, bring that toe up and back till you feel a really good stretch in the back of that leg and then bend it down. You're gonna feel a stretch in the front and up and down and one more time up and down and then move that ankle in a circle circle it one direction and then circle it the other direction okay take that foot put it on the opposite thigh the foot is flexed shoulders are up back and down raise that heel if you'd like and go into whatever it takes to get a good stretch with that. We all do something a little different. Try different things until you find one that really works for you. There are so many different ways to do this. Let's come up and put our hands below our knee, bring that knee to the opposite shoulder and look over the other shoulder. So you're, as Sharon says, you're in a body pretzel. <laughs> All right, let's bring that foot around. And this time we're in a lunge on the left side. Remember about keeping those legs straight down, your knee above your ankle, your hands are either on your thigh or on the chair, whichever works best for you. And you're gonna reach back. You're gonna bring your back back, bring your shoulders back until you feel a good stretch in that thigh. back to the center and let's reach up do a good stretch upward and then let's put our right arm along the back of our chair reach up again try to get a little bit higher even and then you're going to bring that hand over feel that stretch all the way along that side come back to the center and this time you're going to touch your ear reach up over Touch that ear if you can. Good job. And bring it back. Wonderful. Okay. Bring both feet around to the same side of the chair, flat or crossed. Turn around to the back and give yourself a good stretch.
can come around to the front. Okay, let's spread those wings. Spread them back as far as you can. Feels good. And bring them forward and give yourself a hug. Let's put the right hand over, the right arm over the top for, to start. And let's stretch out that wrist. And let's move that wrist. Move it in a circle. And let's move it the other way. And let's make a fist and push those toes in your shoes. Push them into the floor as hard as you can. And let's open up that fist and open, open up those toes. Spread them as far as you can. Let's do that again. Tight fist, tight toes. Open. Okay. Pat ourselves on the back. Use that other arm. You can either come from the top, which is what I do. I know some people come from underneath. That's something I can't do. But <laughs> whatever works, do whatever works for you. But feel that stretch. All right, and bring those arms back again. Spreading those wings again. And we're giving ourselves a hug this time with that left arm on top, stretching out that left arm, circling that wrist, circling that wrist the other direction. We're gonna make a fist and push those toes as hard as you can into the floor and then open everything up and do that again. Tight fist, tight toes, open everything up. Doesn't that feel good? I really like that one. <laughs> Pat yourself on the back for such a good job. Use the other one to extend that stretch. You should feel this stretch all the way down your torso when you're doing this. Okay. Open those arms, open those wings. Let's <laughs> spread those wings again. I love it when Sharon refers to us as, as having wings. All right, and let's sit back in that chair. Ah, uh, yes, as Pat said, ah, uh. <laughs> good job. Okay, let's take our right ear to our right shoulder. You can drop that left arm. And let's raise our head and let's look over that right shoulder. Come back to the center and let's drop the other arm, left ear to left shoulder. Raise up that head, look over that shoulder. Look as far back as you can. Remember the days when we used to do that to see what was going on in the back seat? Boy, I remember those days. <laughs> it's a wonder we didn't get in accidents back then. Okay, back to the center and let's reach those arms up and breathe out. And reach them up again. Take a deep breath and blow it out. And another deep breath. All right, and blow it out as we bring our arms down in prayer position, thanking God for another week, and thank all of you for being here and sharing this with us. It means so much to us. You have no idea. This has got us through this year, you being with us. Thank you all. Have a great week. Well, there you have it. Another great senior workout from Pflugerville Community Church. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoy bringing it to you. Here at Pflugerville Community Church, we offer many outstanding programs designed for seniors as well as the entire family. Our Sunday services are conducted with social distancing and COVID-19 protocols in place. Extra efforts are taken to ensure you have a safe worship experience. Our service times are at 9 and 1030 with an additional Spanish service at noon. If you're looking for a godly, family-friendly, community-involved church home, we provide it all here at Pflugerville Community Church and would be thrilled to have you visit anytime. 
It might just be what you and your family are looking for. You can check us out online at pc-church.org. Until next time, we wish all the blessings our mighty God provides for you and your family. Bye-bye.